Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to use PSPWM window manager on your XFCE desktop so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your terminal and type sudo apt update to refresh your repository. After that type sudo apt install bspwm sxhkd and pycom. After that close your terminal and then you need to download the bspwm text files from the description box below. So after that open the bspwm.txt file you will see a guide to change the window manager to bspwm. Run these two commands one by one and then it will create a config file for bspwm and sxhkd. SXHKD is a uh, key bindings for BSPWM. After that, open bspwmrc.txt and copy all the contents of bspwmrc.txt and paste it inside the file under which is located at home folder which is .config slash bspwm slash bspwmrc. Delete the contents of bspwmrc and replace it with the file which I have provided you. It contains default settings for XFCE which is best for compatibility with XFCE desktop. You can also comment out nitrogen if you don't want to use nitrogen to set wallpaper and if you want to use the XFCE desktop wallpaper instead. Now do the same thing for XSHKD. Copy the contents of xshkd.txt and replace it with the xshkd file in the .config folder. So it has some default key bindings such as super plus enter to open a terminal, super plus w to open firefox, super plus e to open file manager etc. You can change it to your liking if you want. Now at last oh, copy the pycom.com file and paste it under .config slash pycom and if the folder is not present then create a pycom folder under .config folder. Now open application menu and search for session and startup and open it. Go to current session and Set the XFWM4 to never. And then click on save session and if you are using nitrogen instead of XF desktop then you, can, you need to also set the XF desktop to never as well. Now go to application auto start tab and click on add. Now type PSPWM as name command as bspwm and also description as bspwm now close the app and open application menu again and search for keyboard shortcuts and delete all the default keyboard shortcuts present in xfc after that click on restart or log out and after that you will see that it is using bspwm instead of xfce window manager so let's do that 
so this is after restarting as you can see the tiling effect has started to take place for obs and you can also configure the panel settings such as you can add workspace indicator to see your active workspaces and you can also remove the application taskbar icon You can press super plus your number keys to switch between workspaces such as super plus one to switch to workspace one super plus two to switch to workspace two and you can now if you open various applications then it will automatically get tiled So this method is a really good practice for beginners who want to switch to window manager. So in this way beginners will not feel overwhelmed. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from this video and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.